Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome. As I'm sure most of you are aware, in some of the latest snapshots, you can now change the colour of the beacon beam using stained glass. Now I have seen a ton of really amazing inventions to do with this, for example the disco beacon, crazy laser beams, and all that sort of thing. But what I thought I would do is create this little mechanism that allows you to change the colour of the beacon beam to the one that you want. Now there are 8 different colours to choose from, it all works very nicely, so let's take a closer look at it. Down at the bottom here you can see we've got this little beacon colour wheel which is essentially all of the colours that you can choose from. Currently white is the one that is selected, which is the default colour, but if we want it to turn to yellow then all we have to do is hold down the right click until the arrow points towards the yellow wall block and as you can see the beacon has now changed colour. So if you want it to be pink, just hold down right click a little bit more and you can see it's gone to pink, blue, and if we want to go all the way around to green, you can see that works as well. It's pretty versatile and it reacts fairly quickly, which means it's quite a nice little system to use. Now the way that this one works is actually fairly simple. This comparator here takes an output from this item frame. Now for those of you who don't know, item frames actually give off signal strength depending on where the item is in the frame. So that goes into this red coder, which gives a single output dependent on signal strength, and that little signal travels up to the top here and goes into one of the many pistons that we have up at the top. Now obviously all of these pistons correspond to various different colours and they are all triggered at different times and different rotations but what it means is, is you get a very easy selecting system and also a pretty sweet looking beacon beam. Sadly ladies and gentlemen I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this one simply because there are a few issues with it. For example, you can only use the smallest size beacon if you want to go any bigger then you're going to have to completely rewire the whole thing and that seems like a boatload of effort. On top of that you can see that the mechanism itself is pretty big and pretty bulky and I can't imagine many people wanting to build it. But of course there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check this out in a little bit more detail because I'm sure there are going to be a few of you. But anyway ladies and gentlemen that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you did please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later. Uh -huh.